You're watching the April 2023 edition of Upfront and Real, the video podcast by Ohio's Electric Cooperatives. And here we talk about those real issues and discuss those issues that affect cooperative members around the state and also the mission of the cooperatives that serve them that electric service that's reliable, environmentally responsible, affordable, right into those local communities. I'm Karen Whitney, Director of Communications for OEC, and I'm here with Pat O'Loughlin, our President and CEO. And in the April issue of Ohio cooperative living, you talk about the greatest asset of cooperatives, which is the people that work there. And certainly, you know, you think about that, that's how cooperatives began, people coming together to provide an essential service and working together to make that happen. We still see that service mindset today, um, particularly this weekend. We had power outages, first spring storm, 60,000 outages, and co-op workers jump into action to make sure we get that reliable service back. Talk about what happens behind the scenes when we get a big event like this. Yeah, thanks, Karen. It's nice to be with you today. Uh, and you're right. Uh, we take April as one month of the year to express our appreciation for our employees, particularly our line workers that, that work so hard. And, and spring storms come, and we all have to jump into action. Um, and it starts really with preparation. First of all, we've got to be organized and ready because we know we're going to get bad weather. We don't always know when but we know it's gonna come, um, be it winter, spring, summer, or fall, each of them has their own challenges. And so our teams at each of our co-ops prepare a work plan to be ready to jump into action, and everybody's involved. But out in front, out in the weather, and the elements every day are the line workers. Yeah. Um, and normally, Ohio's a pretty big state, so everybody doesn't get hit at once. And that's one of the great things. We can use what we call mutual aid, so those that get hit less with the severe weather can come and help those that had the, the biggest problems in any given storm. And this time we saw more the southern eastern part of the state was hit hard with heavy winds. Everybody had some problems, but co-op people from all across the other parts of the state came in to help. And, and so that doesn't just happen naturally um, because when you have these storm events, people are out of their normal, they're not working with the same people, they're not working in the same places, they're not working on the same things that they're used to. And that's why it's so important that we have a training program that helps set standards for everybody. So as we face these elevated hazards that occur when we have storms and unusual conditions, our folks are ready to be able to work together wherever they come from around Ohio, do it safely, effectively, and get your lights back on as soon as possible. And you talk about training, that is a big part of the cooperative world um, since I've been here noticing that. De regardless of the department that you're in, education, uh, learning, and having that continued training, um, I think of Colt, an amazing facility for these line workers to go to and get that training they need you know, in those life and death situations sometimes. Education and training has been one of the foundational principles of electric co-ops from the very beginning. And certainly we have skilled jobs like line workers that require more training than others. And we started the Central Ohio Line Worker Training Program because we realized to have the best, safest, most effective workforce, we were better to train them ourselves and make sure that we covered everything that they need and, and to have it be consistent across the state. So we've been really successful at adapting to the new changes that we've seen in our workforce and in our workplaces and our school has grown and evolved to be able to meet the needs of each of our co-ops to provide line workers that are ready to do their job safely and effectively every day, no matter what the conditions that they face. And they certainly answered the call this weekend, 60,000 outages within a few days back up. Yeah, we can only imagine what it's like to be out in the weather conditions that they're forced to work in because it's never a nice sunny day, right? It's either windy, yeah. cold, rainy, snowy. Uh, and, and our folks have to get out there and get to work and do it safely and effectively. And that's what we've trained them to do. And that's what they're uh, called to do is their service to our, to our membership. So we're spring. This is just the beginning of the season of weather events and preparation uh, as far as co-ops go, but also co-op members, those member owners out there. Um, are there things they can do to prep and be ready for the spring storm, summer storm season? Yeah, I think our members can do the same things we do. Um, we know as we get spring storms, tornadoes are a possibility. First thing we want for everybody is to be safe. So, you know, you can practice with your family just like we practice at work a little bit. It doesn't take a long time just to know what to do when that emergency hits. Um, and then I think the other thing is just to know that your co-op is there for you, that we're ready, that we've got trained people that are going to respond and they're going to take care of your problem as quickly as we can and we're going to do it as safely as possible. 
Yeah, and I and I always think about tree clearance, you know, right at this time as trees are starting to bud. And I know our co-ops go through helicopter tree trimming, um, making sure that there's short branches so that if a power line or wind bends a tree, it doesn't hit that power line. Things you can do like that even around your own home on a smaller scale. Yeah, one of the biggest causes of, of power outages are tree limbs and branches getting tangled in the lines and causing short circuits. Uh, we don't want anybody to get up in the middle of those lines to try to take care of it yourself, but if you see a tree that's close to your power lines, let your co-op know and they'll be glad to help clear it away and prevent outages, not just for you, but your neighbors as well. Pat, thank you for being here in this discussion. Really important things and we thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you and uh, just want to once again express our appreciation for all our dedicated employees and what they do to keep your lights on every day.